Well, here we are with the PM Research Generator again. I fitted it out with a larger Walesco pulley, um, and I'm driving it off of the large flywheel on the Model 20 Jensen here. Uh, the voltage is quite a bit better than it was before. Just set our meter. Right now we're cranking 4 volts, and just over 4 milliamps. So let's open the engine up wide and see what we get. Just over 9 volts. Now I'm going to slowly start dialing down the uh, variable resistor here. And you'll see how the current increases as the resistance drops. I've already taken readings at every half volt increment. And I'm going to calculate my uh, wattage and place it on a curve. For the first few turns of the rheostat, there isn't much difference. I've already turned it at least five times. So now as we approach zero resistance, you'll see the voltage dropping and the current shooting up. We're still only at 18 milliamps. Now we're approaching 8.5 volts, 34 milliamps. The rheostat's almost zero now. You can really hear the engine getting loaded down. Now we're reading 225 milliamps at six and a half volts. Five volts, close to 380. It's really putting a tremendous load on the Model 20 Jensen, as you can see. One and a half volts, we're cranking over 750 milliamps. That's three quarters of an amp. But still, it's only at 1.4 volts. Now, if I short this circuit altogether by turning the resistor to zero, as I now have, 950 milliamps but at next to no voltage. And that's about the best they can squeeze out of this generator. Oops! And the spring belt just broke. The motor is very hard to turn. You can see how fast the Jensen 20 runs otherwise. It's probably cranking about 1500 RPM right now with a pressure near 20 PSI. I guess that's about all I have to show you.